hey guys and welcome back to my channel and i thought i would do maybe make some tags today and i'm just going through my stash and uh looking over some things and i thought i would do that with you guys just sort of sorting things out I love my birds, and this is some that, you know, we cut out from the 12 of 12s. I'm just sticking those over here, and here's, you know, a piece that I cut out from the, the book. Not liking that one too much, and these will be uh, for another day. There's a tag that I half done. I'll stick it up here, and here's another one that I've started. And there's that that I could use. And uh, so last night I um, took two sheets out of my book and you know glued them back to back I want my tags to be a little bit thick and hold on I got a few more that I cut out yesterday and I'll let you all see I'll try to clear a little path here and um there's the one that was the feathers. There's the other one. Here's uh, the one that was on the flowers and the one that was on the seascape. They're really much different too. Now that we've cut them out, and there's the one that kept uh, smearing, but it, it's fine. I like that one. Oh, and that this here letter reminded me of something. I uh, <laughs> let me show it to you before I forget. I did this yesterday. Um, since I say actually so much, I happen to see this uh, big long word in uh, Variety Magazine, and I said, well, wait a minute, that's almost got all the letters in actually in it. And I know actually only has two L's, but I thought, you know, I happen to cut these two L's out, but I like this big L, so I just thought I would go ahead and put that on there, and then that's one of the birds that uh, come off the magazine page. And then I uh, just laid it down and went ahead and laminated it. I didn't even glue it up or anything. Uh... You know, I didn't want any, any glue to be smeared in the background or for me to get any, any smudges. So I just laid it down, went ahead and laid my sheet over it and threw it through the, the laminator. I think that looks cute. Okay. And there's the uh, butterfly wing. Two more of those. Uh, some of the butterfly wings. I think those look turned out really good. And I do have the middle that goes in that, but that might be good to cut that out and put that in the middle just for something else. Or that, or even that. And here's uh, the wings from the flowers. And here's two more birds from the seascape. And this one here has a little more of the sand in it. 
And, you know, that's one from the other day. And uh, just to show you this, uh, I had um, made, um, you know, just took a big sheet and, you know, went up, you know, just squirted some paint on it and went over it with the roller. And then I cut them into squares, but I really wasn't happy how um, flimsy they were. You know, this one here is kind of flimsy, and that, that's fine. But I kind of like my tags to have a little more weight to them. So since these uh, uh, Variety magazine covers have so much weight to them, I thought I would just um, go ahead and glue them on here. And... Um, even uh, yesterday, I had uh, took one of the big uh, pages that almost fit this, you know, out of the big uh, watercolor uh, book and just put one sheet on top, flipped it over, and done one on the back. And that way, that would be in the middle, which, you know, it's really thick. So, I sandwiched it in between two, and um, I believe I put it here in the book. And let's just, I hate walking you guys through it again and again, but uh, here's one of them. And um, I noticed the masking tape seems to do much better. You know, washi tape is not all that um, sticky anyway. And then here was my... I uh, did want to show you guys this. Uh, you remember I said I was going to alter her face. But I actually put a lips on it. Well, I laid it down and I didn't like how big it was. So, you know, it came way out here. So, I cut the sides off and redrew in the sides because I wanted the shape to be different. And then I glued this shirt. It was a whole outfit, but I had to cut that off. And then, you know, this here is the part that you guys see all the time with the, uh, I can't find one just yet. You know, that has the three ladies that stand here with all the stripes going up and down inside them. Uh, it's in all the Vogue's. I thought I had one over here handy. Um... But anyway, I thought I had put another page in here somewhere. Here it is. And I had um, glued this one. I mean, not glued it, but, um, you know, put that down with the masking tape. And then went over it. I just stuck me another page over here. And as I was rolling it. Um, here's the other one. I think this may have been opposite of that one. The page that I had stuck down to. You know so I wouldn't get it on that page. And here's the back side of it. That was actually the one that I had the scribblies on uh, yesterday. And, you know, I didn't like it all that well. So, I said, I'll just use that, you know, as my runover page. I think I may have set that one down, too. And when I went over it, you know, just covered it up. And uh, just stuck it in here. I thought it would be a good fit beside this. And this would go well together. And then I thought these two pages went well together. And here's another one. This here was also off of the bigger sheet. And uh, it was a run over page. Plus, I was sticking uh, scraps. Here's a scrap under her of a coffee cup that I've had. And then this robe that someone was wearing. And... I haven't done anything to this side as of yet. 
that right there wants to keep coming up but anyway okay and also uh, i think the washi tape kept coming up so i uh went over it with clear um packing tape and i went down the side and the spine That's what I hate about everything when you lay something on top. So I just went ahead with the packing tape all the way around to hold that down since it was it kept coming up. Plus, your hand keeps raking over it, and I can even feel the the, uh, the tape starting to come up a little bit. I like this book, and I keep wanting to fill it up and fill it up. It is getting quite full. Let me see if I raise my camera up. It's getting quite full, plus the pages no longer stick. And I, I guess we all like that, how full it's getting. I'm just wondering just how much more fuller can I get it. But I am thinking about getting another one. Um, okay, so I was doing all of these, and then I was cutting out... Let me see if I can move all of this. Because I got a big pile underneath here. That I was working from yesterday. I don't know where to lay everything that I'll have it in plain sight. Okay, so so I was trying to pick some things to put on these two tags. And I was wanting to show you all something else. I had pulled a couple of these pages out of my stash and I think I want to use this little girl and I think let's go ahead and cut through here and as I was taking one of my um one of these things I was cutting out some circles and you know I've had these for a while and when I was even putting them through here and cutting out some of these I was noticing that it was not cutting that well so last night I um you know glued one of these sheets down to you know a magazine page one of the thick covers and I noticed I could cut it out really good. But then this morning, um, when I came in here to uh, cut them, uh, you know, like half of it was glued and half of it wasn't glued. And I thought, well, I really didn't even need to go to all the trouble to glue it back on them. And it's like I found out by accident that you know if your thing isn't cutting the hole really well just stick something back behind it i didn't even need to glue it and there you go and you can keep that also but you know here was some that i had glued and it wasn't even stuck but then you know, if you want to keep that for the words. And I thought that was a neat trick. And, um, I kind of like this QR code thingy going on, so we'll just make a 
button out a bit and see how that goes. And here's some more you can cut out. Probably be really neat. Let's cut this out because I need one million and one things on my desk. Okay. That looks kind of cool. Maybe save that for a scrappy time. I, I need more scraps in my room. We all need more scraps. And this is one of the, the thick pages. In a variety magazine. Okay. So... I did want to cut this little girl out. And I was uh, going through, uh, like I said, that big stash. Uh, a, a while back, I had... Uh, um, videotape my drawers in here. And you know, the top drawer had all those Tim Holtz things in it. I think I want this closer. I don't want that white to show. So I had uh, pulled out a bunch of those. And I don't know if you all can see those over here, this little stash, you know, like this. That might look good with, behind one of those and all these uh, little butterflies. You know, here's this paper, which I thought would look good. You can actually take out, I can do this. And that, the, the thin pages in that was almost at the point to where it wasn't going to cut it that well. I took this little thing off. And I just pulled a bunch of stuff. Here's the little girl. And here's one of the leaves I made with the ink dye. I just put it all over the page. I think it's got glue on it or something right there. It just threw ink on the page and just started stamping. So anyway, I wanted to make a couple tags. You know, these are the two I started the other day. And I was playing around with them. So that's what I just want to do on camera. Just play around with it. See what we get. Kind of like that. But. Wonder if it'd be better on this one. I think I like it better over here.
think I like that. Let's see if that will work over here. I think I like this that that was so colorful. And I think I'll go ahead and put that down over here. I don't know. We'll just try something. I think we'll put it over here so that's the unknown. Since I don't know how far up to go. And I was already playing with this glue this morning, so I don't I just filled the bottles up. Okay. I guess I'll come in a little bit so you can still see the the black line over there. possible to just go ahead and cut it and then recut it the little that wasn't even straight We're just still playing around with this to see what we like. That one's too dark. That's a close first place. Okay, Augie Doggy, I hear you snoring back here. You know how I like how something interrupts something else. Get one of these. Kind of like that. It's like it needs a word. You know, I had these from the Tim Holtz, which I've not yet looked that up to see what that means. It looks to be French, of course. Um, have a bunch of these little no that does not go I think I kind of like let's see this is how it is now I may cut that out Let's go ahead and glue this up. I think that's what I was doing yesterday, overthinking things. I 
And I did have this one. I think we may put this little border on. Well, actually, I'm supposed to take this here out of the middle. That might make it pop all the more. how well that's going to stick because that's the the uh, slick uh, side on that variety magazine and I want to cut this out. I just knocked that off. It's on my stool under my feet. Scared me and the dogs to death. <laughs> and that one over there is no longer snoring. I think she got up and left out. It says, not for me today. Kind of looks weird, but that would be out of my comfort zone. But I'm, I'm going to put it there anyway. It says this is how it is now. And... It looks like it needs to be outlined, depending on how much glue is out there around it. This is my number 10 micron. Well, you know, like I said, that's the slick part. Uh, Posca marker. I think we'll go around this moon part. It's like this needs a line to it. Anyway, it was supposed to went all the way up, but I... I don't know it it looks like it could use a little something something more around the edge I don't know as of yet but I'll lay that aside see here's the back with the um, one of the covers to the variety magazine Okay, let me grab this one. 
and I kind of like the contrasty over here, so I'm debating on whether to cover that up or not cover that up. I guess we'll put this on this side, which it covers the little bird's tail up, but we'll um, probably find something maybe to put over top of that anyways. And I won't, I'll just wait, cut this off at the edge up there. Where's my paper towel? I didn't want to use my finger in case it wanted to smudge black on it. I need to fix this little situation under my desk. This that that's not working. Kind of like that. It has a little thing right there to pop out. I don't think that one's going to work. I think I like it there, kindly hanging off. Let's see, that might be too much. Let me bring you guys down a little bit. Let's see. I do like that. That pops. Let's see. Um, yeah, that does go better with that, but I don't know if I'm completely in love with that one. Now I've got a choice I've got to make. I don't know which one looked the best. I think I do have a little piece of paper back behind it. Um, and no, that butterfly is just not going to pop like that one does. Another mushroom. I think I like that one. Out of the three. And here's another mushroom. I think this came out. I've had that set for some time now because it was uh, like a thousand piece set okay and I had this little thingy I was wondering how that would look on there that's just not getting it I'm not in love with that one either. Let's see. 
wonder how this would do. Go a little further up. For just a little more interest. Kind of like that. It's out of my comfort zone to do that. I just peeked up and seen one of the ones that I did last night. Hang on, guys. Let me cut this off. It wasn't even a smooth cut because it's so wet from the glue. Okay. Wow, you're talking about a pop of color. That's a pop of color. See how about this green butterfly again? No, that's not gonna work still. That really is contrasty. Contrasty it is. I think we'll save that one for another day. thought about having a yard sale and selling all of this because I have got drawers and drawers upon drawers of tags. And what do you do with it all? You just can't save everything. If I could find a way to, I would send them to you all. If I could find a way to, uh, I'd probably have to set up a second email because I don't want to uh, have just anybody come into my emails because it's already full enough with the, all the junk we all have in the emails. Hmm. Uh, that's kind of not getting it. Um, let's see, do I have a stamp? Let's see a minute. Here's my, it says Tweet Chirp, Tweet Chirp, and then this little saying, and this little saying, keep a green bow. A bird does not need... Hold on, I think I've got something else over here I like better. Yep, 
you know, in these stack of ones that I've been keeping over here. Um, you know, these that I put on these papers. feel fit. Here's one with a saying. I think that was the one I originally had in mind. Uh, not a saying, but like a simic writing. I think I might like that, that if, um, Let's see how this works. I want to put it kindly uh, off the page, just on this part. If it does go off the page, that's how I want it to look. I usually have my gloves on. This one does. I forget. I can't even tell which way is up. I think it's this way. Let's see, I want it up there on the butterfly wing a little bit. a little bit crooked but let's see let's stamp that again but a little bit further down it looks like we were just writing all over it I think I like that I think I like it Okay, guys, so this is what we're left with, other than the big fat mess. These two tags. And I love them. Okay, guys, could hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow.